Hi, I'm Michael Moletto and welcome to Link Property Services Quarter 2 Market Update. With the ongoing easing of COVID-related restrictions, the return to face-to-face -face working conditions appears to have assisted in facilitating ongoing property demand. While Zoom calls may have saved some businesses during the lockdown, our observations are the majority of people in small to medium enterprises will prefer to be back in the office to enable more efficient and productive business interaction. In Western Sydney, the demand for land within the Eritropolis precinct and surrounding areas continues to rage. However, the timing for servicing of Inglobo land is now playing a role in the viability for developers and institutions to acquire additional significant trenches of land. Current Inglobo land rates in southwestern and Western Sydney are hovering at $500 to $600 per square metre, with servicing costs on top of this. A strong sign of the continued demand and development in the Western Sydney region of Erskine Park was the issuing of the first permit for a three-month trial by New South Wales Government for B Triple operations on dedicated roads. If B Triples continue, this will help provide more efficient and productive operations for the transport and freight industry that has been hit hard by a combination of rising diesel costs, rising tolls and the shortage of AdBlue diesel exhaust fluid. The market is experiencing a dire shortage of leasing and sales stock across metropolitan Sydney. Rentals in some precincts have increased by 30% since quarter 4, 2021, and incentives have wound back to 0 to 5% if the lessee is lucky. This is a far cry from the 5 to 10% incentives that were abundant only some 6 to 12 months ago. Rental rates are under further upward pressure as a result of the rapid surge in online shopping. The shift towards online retail, which currently represents 14% of all retail sales in Australia, is coinciding with demand for major warehousing space. Another key observation is the shift in industrial location metrics. Five years ago, the focus was to consolidate two or more warehouses into one major distribution centre. However, the change in consumer spending habits and need for goods now has seen distribution centre locations no longer determined just by orbital road access, but by fast proximity to key household markets. Lynx Western Sydney office has transacted a high number of leasing deals in the 1,000 to 3,000 square metre size range during the last quarter at rentals ranging from $130 to $210 per square metre net in locations including Regents Park, Seven Hills, Ingleburn, Milpera, Rydalmy and Silverwater. In South Sydney, a very tightly held market, Goodman and Charter Hall have multi-level developments due to come online from the first half of 2023. This should provide quality accommodation to take up some of the pent-up demand for industrial space. Demand from the investor market remains incredibly strong across all industrial markets, with yields at a historical low, mostly due to low interest rates, but also due to the increase in attractive nature of the industrial asset class. Link recently exchanged contracts on 24 to 32 Raymond Avenue, Matraville, with a private investor after a hotly contested EOI campaign for an asset providing a net passing income of $760,530 per annum. Our view is that rising interest rates are likely to feed through to softening cap rates over the next 12 months. However, we do anticipate strong demand from both tenants and buyers and shortage of stock levels to continue well into the remainder of 2022.